And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner, Armin Ahakalakis Tarukian! You ready to fight? Ready. Good, Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights. And the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, oh. but this venue will all... Big combination. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yep. Oh! Body shot. Huge left hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. The fighters separate. Good jab. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. So more output, at least in the early going. So the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. See, these fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Oh, big knee to the body. How did he get that one home? Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show himself. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Tarakon's now dealing with a cheat cut. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be whipping like this. Oh! Oh, my goodness! Oh, he dove and he lands! Wow! Tarakon is going for a choke. Oh, Darce choke locked and loaded. Maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. There it is. Now he's running off. Lee getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Good work from the top here by Sarukya. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there. And not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Oh, 
Well, he has stayed technical, but he is really starting to chew up the opposition now. He came out super aggressive, as aggressive really as we've ever seen him in the UFC, and now starting to uptick the volume again. Nice start here in round one. Whoa! kick here. So fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing the time, just looking to recover. And he's now dealing with a cheat cut. Back kick there. That's the next. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Round two here. Straight right is there. Now he lands a solid punch. Nice block. Nice punch to the head. What a great job. Oh! to avoid the punch. Nice job by Sarukyan. Back and forth we go. Well, no denying that he blocked him. Oh, he hurt again. Oh, this could just about do it. There you go. There you go. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to get wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch it. You see it. You see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes on. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Well, you know this is the hurt business. And oh! one could be over soon. All right, DC, half guard position here. You oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Dude's trying to finish the fight. That darts is tight. Oh, no, oh, oh no! Oh, he got out! He cleared his leg, got back to his back, and created some space between him and his opponent to stay out of that dart show. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on him. Sarakyan's back to the side control now. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Gotta watch his neck. That dart choke is tight. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back. Oh! oh, he goes with the punch, and he lands. He's very close to the finish here. Gets back to his feet. Oh, he strike right to the midsection there. Checks the leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Under two minutes now to go in round two. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised, and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show 
that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys are win. You like that? With the ground ball. This fight is close to being done. me with that knockout if that is not the number one play on sports center tonight i'm not sure what would top it one of the best knockouts we've seen all year in a very long time i have not seen someone look this good he promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This 